This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2007 Ford F450 Super Cab. It's a four-door extra cab. Um, it's a six-liter uh, turbo diesel. It's an XL trim level, um, two-wheel drive. Has extremely low actual miles, 60,971. I'll show you the Carfax. They're the real miles. Um, Purchased it. It was a new car dealer trade-in in Riverside, California. We purchased it, brought it to Tucson with the low miles and the great Carfax. We suspected this would be as good as it, as it was, and it lived up to our expectations. Runs and drives great. Air is ice cold. Um, it's got nice tires, uh, nice tread on the tires. Um, somebody didn't like a sweaty butt in California, so they put a cloth seat on it, um, which is smart. Um, also in the facts, in the Carfax, it says that they did a new turbo at the Ford dealer at 42,800 miles. So it's got, what, uh, 18,000 miles on a turbo right now. Um, all we had to do was buy a new fuel cap. Someone stole it um, when it was being shipped here. And uh, then we sent it to the detail. Anyway, I'm going to walk around this uh, truck. Um, I'll fire it up. We'll go under the hood. We'll open up all the doors on the bed. Um, when we bring them in now, especially diesel trucks, I always put them up in the air uh, on our four-wheel lift in here, and we pressure spray and steam the undercarriage um, just so we can get a good look. It looks great under there. Um, but there will be photos of the undercarriage also. <coughs> My brother will take um, several photos of of the undercarriage and along with, you know, another 30 or 40 extra, <coughs> excuse me, photos of the truck. 60980 is the uh, mileage. Boom, like that. There we go. I just came back from detail. All right, before we get going here, let's show you the Carfax real quick. There's the VIN. No damage reported, one owner. This, uh, there'll be a link for this in, the, uh, in our ad also. So you'll be able to look at this online, but people like when I walk them through a low mileage vehicle obviously it was born in Santa Barbara upscale right uh, Lompoc oil and filter a lot of oil changes and then here at 413 of 17 with 42,800 miles at Santa Maria Ford Lincoln and Santa Maria is upscale too uh, turbocharger replaced or repaired I can assure you having done diesel trucks forever Ford dealers do not repair turbos. They replace them. <laughs> they, they don't do that. It's uh, not in their best interest as a warranty item. Um, let's see. And then they keep uh, servicing it. Last oil change at 58,000 miles. What, 2,000 miles ago? Bum, 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 and then we bought it. And that's that. Okay? Make sure there's nothing going on. Look at the floor. There's not even a hole worn in the floor. That's how new it is. Um, like I said, somebody did a cloth seat. They didn't like the sweaty butt because normally they'll look like the back seat, which is the vinyl. And they don't have the vinyl there because they wanted to be comfortable. There's your VIN stamp here. Let's see. You got uh, tilt wheel. You also got a work truck with cruise, which is unusual. It's also unusual to have you got the air and it's blowing cold to have a radio with a CD player. The employer, what are your thoughts about you? So they uh, they ordered this truck. Tow on, there's tow right here. Tow on and off. On, off, all right? Let's see. Bum, bum, bum. Turn on the headlights, turn on the turn signal. We'll walk around and we'll go into the hood real quick. I'm gonna take off the uh, oil cap to look for blow by. Low mile with lots of oil changes. I doubt there will be much. There's a Ford stamp here, so you know you have an original fender, Ford stamp on the floor support. Ford stamp here, Ford stamp here. Should be another one, and there is right there. So all the front end parts are original, which is obviously important. No blow by at all which you would expect with that Carfax and the mileage, but it's good to see it in person. 
Headliner looks brand new. The interior of this truck is amazing. Ford trucks never look like this inside. Roll this up. All right. I did check the keys on the key ring, do work on all the locks. Let's see if I can do this one handed or not. There you go. Got these trays in there, right? The tire tread is great. Got to do the passenger front tire. So you got quite some time before you need tires. Hitch. They left the cotter pin in there, which is kind of cool. Trailer plug, light plug. This is all we had to do. Bought that this morning. That. All right. Let me see if I can do this. Again. There we go. One handed with a camera in my hand. A true professional. Well, my job in these videos really isn't to tell you how great our vehicles are, it's to make sure that you are aware of whatever's wrong um, so that we don't have any drama. Uh, most of our customers, well, not most, but I would say 50% of our customers will pay online and ship out of state. And we can't have them buying something. It is misrepresented. So if there's something wrong, we are going to tell you, okay? Um, there's plenty of people who are just fine with them the way they are. We don't need to BS. Let me check the headlights, turn signal. There's a turn signal, there's the headlights. Boom, boom, boom. Let me check the turn signal back here, boom. Let's change the turn signal to the other side. All right. By the way, these things will uh, come out. So you can walk through all these bars up so you don't have to hit your head on those. You can take them out. Right, there's your uh, turn signal on this side. And should be one. Yep. All right, so turn signals work fine. No blow by in the motor, low mile, turbo at 42,000 miles. If you want a work truck, this is the guy. All right, turn off the turn signal. It's officially cold in here. Let me turn that down. Get the seatbelt on here. All right, let's make sure the radio scans. Go to FM. The radio works fine. Cup holder, trailer brake, boom, boom, boom. That works fine. Let's see, what else we got? I think that's about it. Can't do uh, cruise control in a Ford unless you're moving. Nothing there. A little mirror there so you can see how good looking you are. All right, so that's drive. And this is reverse. Boom. Neutral. Drive. Let's go for a ride. All right. If you buy this truck, 
and you come to Tucson to drive it home, you'll pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is. Could be zero, could be uh, could be uh, 10%, could be whatever. Whatever your state tax rate is is what you're going to pay for it uh, in, ta in state taxes. Plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. There'd be no tax. There'll be no dock fee, nothing. Just the price of the vehicle, okay? If you are gonna pay by wire and ship out of state, once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and then mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. Um, you will have the truck shipped to you. Title already be in your mailbox before the shipper shows up with your truck. When he does or she does, uh, you'll take the truck and the title and go get plates in your state, simple. If you need help with shipping, let me know early in the transaction. I can help with shipping. Um, I can do it for you. We can roll the price of the shipping into the uh, 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 price of the vehicle. So you just pay once instead of twice for the truck and the shipping. Um, if you just want a phone number to call and do it yourself, we can do that. Um, or you're will, more than welcome to do it yourself. A lot of our buyers have bought vehicles many, many times to do their own shipping and they have no problems. But if you need help, let me know early. Deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Please make sure you get your deposit in. Last part of every video, I get to this part. Uh, we don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a fancy lounge to hang out in while the attendant serves scones and lattes and sandwiches. Uh, right now, I'm on Wetmore Road going east. About a half a mile maybe three quarters of a mile east of here on this road is the auto mall. Uh, Precision Toyota and Honda and everyone that's on this one. And then auto mall drive stems. The auto mall's over there, okay? They've got all that crap and they have to pay for it by charging you a lot more money than we have to charge you, okay? Uh, we're in the business of moving vehicles, not storing vehicles, which is a good thing. We don't want to store vehicles, we want to move them, okay? Um, and we could do it cheaper because we don't have all that overhead. My uncle rents the property that we were on just a minute ago for a dollar a year. The auto mall is paying tens of thousands of dollars for each one of their dealerships to be at that where they're at now. Um, so we have we don't have salesmen to pay. We don't have location to pay for. We don't have scones and lattes and game rooms for the kids to pay for. Um, they also know at the auto mall that when you buy this vehicle from them and something breaks, you're going to bring it in and say, "I just paid a fortune for this truck. I want it perfect." Okay. Uh, so they charge an extra five or seven hundred dollars in the price of the vehicle that when they sell it to you at the auto mall just for future repairs so they feel good about selling to you and fixing it when you come in you know with a problem um, we don't charge you any extra money for future repairs because we're not fixing your truck this is your truck we can jump on a little bit here and let you see it run a little bit we have a big roadblock up here I don't know what they're doing here but every day there's something new in this neighborhood that causes traffic to be a mess and that's it that looks like that's not going away anytime soon either. Um, anyway, we don't charge you for that. Um, so you're saving tons of money for many reasons buying from us, including the fact that we're not repairing your truck when it breaks. Every vehicle that we're passing, every single vehicle over here, this guy coming at us, everything's gonna break eventually. When it does, fix it with your money, okay? Now, that being said, we just looked at the Carfax. You saw the uh, non-existent blow-by. Uh, we know it got a turbo at 42,000 miles. We know the condition of the truck. Guy was crazy enough to put a cloth seat on it. Um, he probably loved this truck. <laughs> so I would say that if you change the fluids and don't put it into a lake, um, this thing will go forever. But you never know. If it needs, uh, you know, if the radio takes a crap or the AC decides to blow hot, which by the way is blowing ice cold right now. Um, needs an injector, you know, the mirror falls out, the light switch doesn't work, you're doing that with your money, okay? That's how we roll, we let people know what we're doing, all right? Anyway, we're at uh, 60,982 60, miles now. There's your uh, cluster, that's what it looks like. Runs and drives great. Thank you for your time.